Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, <clears throat> I'm standing here on the rooftop of my new apartment or room rather that I'm renting from some nice people uh, on Saddam Street in Brooklyn, Bushwick. And you can see the city from up here can't really see it on the video it's that little uh, that stuff in the background there those little lines that's the city yes the city anyway I'm up on the roof in the freezing cold smoking a cigarette yes I do smoke cigarettes unfortunately I wish I could quit however I'm up on the roof in the freezing cold smoking a cigarette why because my room my bed my bedding and everything else that we own is completely soaked in pyrethrin bug spray benzene you know like nasty toxic poison shit that gives me a really bad headache and makes me want to throw up now why are we doing this uh, well, because of the bugs. I don't know if they're real bugs or... I know they're not imagined. There's definitely something there. Although it's microscopic, you can't see it. It feels like little tiny fleas or aphids or something flitting, little flitting things flitting all over you. Flit, 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 and they go all over your mouth and your face and your eyes and your nose and your ears and your body under your clothes and they jump all around. But you can't see them. You can't see them. So you don't know if they're really there. And this is not the first day that we've sprayed the apartment. This is, uh, we moved in, we moved our shit. See, we did, we had these bugs, here's the story. In the hotel, they did the Morgellons thing with the chemtrails and, and the, 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 anyway, the bugs come out of the Morgellons, it comes out of you, it comes everywhere, everywhere. You know, they put seed catalysts in there and shit. Anyway, we were covered in creatures, creatures in us, out of us, uh, jumping in, jumping out, whatever. Uh, we moved. We moved to uh, the Wong place where they stole everything we owned almost. And in the Wong place we had those bugs, still fighting the bugs, cleaned everything. But, you know, spent thousands of dollars on, on uh, bug cleaners and sprays and bleach and ammonia and this and that and the other thing. And did it for months. We had to take medication to get the energy to work so hard. Uh, you know, they were making us... Uh, anyway, we moved, and we moved, we moved, we're fighting the bugs, we're fighting the bugs, we threw everything away, we put everything in storage, still has bugs. The few things we had left, we cleaned, we washed, we washed, we washed, we washed. I mean, imagine washing everything you own over and over again. The bedding on your bed every day, taking everything out of your room and dragging it to the freaking laundromat and washing it and bringing it home. And then it gets infested again, over and over and over. So we moved in. We had spent like the last year in a place where we had very few of these things and we thought we had it under control. It was just a few, we sprayed every day and da 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 da. We moved in here, you know, the bed, the mattress, put everything up. Five days we had without any bugs. It was wonderful. They even turned down the high frequency mind control for a day. It felt great. And then they turned it back up and I felt like I was dying again. Anyway, five days later, the bugs start hopping. And I mean, hopping! We're covered in this shit. It's almost as if they flip a fucking switch somewhere in the control room and these things start jumping around. It, it's crazy. We cannot, for the life of us, figure out what insect has a life cycle that is so short or weird that it can be dormant for five days and then all of a sudden brrrr, and then disappear for two three days and then, brrrr, and then you know every day it goes away for a day it comes back right when you lie down to go to sleep or right when you're you know and I'm not the only one my my brother was telling me up in Massachusetts he has some quote unquote fleas that he can't see that he can't get rid of and they only start biting him when he lies down to go to sleep sound familiar I don't know man so you know, the bug torture is is part of this thing, man. The, the pestilence, you know. I was reading this website. These people, they refer... Oh, by the way, I, I'm so pissed. You know, I come home. I just want to crawl into bed and fucking cover my head up and, and, and moan. And I can't because my bed is covered in bug spray. And I'm, I'm all mad at my wife because she sprayed all the bug spray 
but I'm not really mad at her. I'm just mad because my life is fucked up and I can't lay down, so I blame it on her. And it's fucked up. This is what they want us to do. They want us to get angry and blame each other for shit. Really hard to light this cigarette. I got one match left. I got snot dripping off my nose. This is what it's like out in the freaking cold. And these people want us to be homeless. They want us homeless. They, they drove us around. I destroyed my business. I had a successful eBay business. They destroyed that three, four, five times. I just couldn't do it anymore. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see it from here. Uh, kind of hard to see on this video. But yeah, there it is. Uh, right there, that building, that, that yellowish building in the back was where we lived when the Wongs took us in from the hotel, 500 a month for a little room. And, and he bothered us every day told us we had to move out, we finally moved out, and they stole everything. They, they locked us out and took everything, and the police would not help. Like $20,000 worth of equipment and furniture, all missing. Because it was covered in evidence, man! Oh, well, there I am. Hi, folks. Anyway. Mm. It's really hard to smoke this little tiny cigarette out in the cold. And I'm desperately in need of tobacco. I desperately need of the small calming stimulation of tobacco. This is basically just a rant. I'm out in the cold ranting. You know, look at my face, man. Look at this shit. I'm dying. I'm freaking dying from Morgellons and mind control. I keep saying it over and over. I keep saying it over and over and over and over and over and over. Who listens? Other mind control victims listen. The watchers who are doing this listen. The Illuminati evil bastards listen. The government? I don't know if they care. The FBI wouldn't even talk to me. Local police laughed me out of the station. Local hospital was in on it. Locked my girlfriend up in the psychiatric ward for 11 days for no reason other than to get her off the street and away from me so they could torture me. And her, I guess, in the hospital, but you know. Anyway, I am just too freaking cold to stand out here anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna send this ranting video up to YouTube. I have another video I'm gonna send too of some really crazy stuff I spit up. And uh, God bless all of you. I hope to God you're not going through the same torturous hell that I am, that my girlfriend is, and that thousands of other people around the country are. Anyway, keep warm. It's the day after Christmas. I hope you had a, a nice Christmas, a happy holidays, and, uh, and a new year. New year, new world order, right? Anyway, talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. God bless us all.